All right, so one of the reasons I wanted to make this documentary film was to show how families react to their children having tattoos. And so I was wondering how you feel about me having so many tattoos. Well, I don't really like it, but you're my daughter and I love you no matter what. I just think they just have this big standards, like high standard of who you should be and what you should do and what you should look like, how you should act. And I'm not any of that. <laughs> My mom, both of them were born in China. He's been more Americanized and talking to, you know, he talks to more people than my mother would. My mom just keeps to herself, but she talks to more Asian people. He told me not to get anything too trashy or um, just make sure it's in taste. She thinks the old school, older Asian might have something against me being Americanized. I would just love it if she could like, oh, that's beautiful, but she won't because she can't appreciate it. She just thinks of it as a tattoo and um, I'm just messing up my body. I think that's how she, that's how I think she thinks of tattoos. I'm still hiding my tattoos, so whenever my mom sees it, I think she's going to freak. <laughs> and I just, don't know what's going, what I'm, how I'm supposed to react to it because I know I'm like disappointed in her in a way, but we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to take time for her to just accept me. She doesn't understand why I want more tattoos. She doesn't understand why I like it. I just feel like I'm being, I'm growing into the person I want to be. Just, just being myself, not having to be someone that's being someone that I'm not for other people. And I shouldn't live my life for someone else. And I'm just going for what I want to do. And me, I want to get more tattoos. You know, I think in a way, my relationship with my, fam with my parents, I guess, um, more specifically, I wanted them to see me. I didn't feel seen by them. Sometimes I still don't. And I tried in many ways. I told my parent, I, I told my parents things they never wanted to know about me. You know, they know more about me than they want to know. And it, I realized, like over the years, a lot of it has been to like be like, "Hey, I'm here. You know, I'm I'm your daughter. I'm here. This is who I am. This is who you created." And I guess in a in a way, this is a very permanent, very visual way of being like, you know, look at me. So I guess you could probably boil it down to those two people. <laughs> Much less the rest of the world. It's like, whatever, fuck them. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> it was like we're sitting in this Korean restaurant on 32nd Street and like, it's July and I'm sweltering and I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm like, mom, dad, I have something to tell you, <laughs> you know? My sister's like, shut up. <laughs> Wait till I'm gone, you know? And I was like, I have tattoos. <laughs> They're like, it's like they couldn't comprehend. I was like, big ones, <laughs> you know, colorful ones. And it's like, they just, you know, when my father gets angry, he's like, pinky starts to like twitch, you know, he's like, pinky was like twitching. And my mother's like, oh my God, oh my God, like, probably, you know praying to God or whatever, you know, what do we do wrong? What do we do wrong, you know? And they didn't ask to see them. They didn't, you know, it was really just an idea that their daughter had these, you know, large tattoos. And it took them, it took a long time for them to ever even like see them by accident or anything. I mean, the interesting thing is like, I think my mother has always been sort of curious. She hates it, hates it, but she's always been curious. You know, I've caught her like, if we're shopping together, just kind of like, you know, like looking at me and um, I told them I, I, I wasn't going to cover myself anymore. And um, they had bought me a ticket to come up to, for Christmas. And, you know, I mean, come on, it's freaking cold in D.C. In, in, in the wintertime. But, you know, I just warned them. I was like, listen, if I get out of the shower, I'm not going to freaking scurry to my room because, you know, I'm like 
this is where I'm at. You know, I understand it's cool. This is where I'm at. And they canceled my ticket. I mean, I haven't seen my father in almost three years. <laughs> and um, I realized then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, obviously, it's something that still hurts me. But um, I realized then that like, I didn't know if they would ever, I, I didn't know how, I, I was like, you know what? For all I know, they could go forever without seeing me. So I, you know, had this huge fight with my mother about a year later, you know, and she ended up coming here to stay and I told her I would cover myself. I was like, I haven't seen her in like two and a half years. Like, it's not like DC and Maryland or uh, Florida are so far away from each other. And um, I just realized it wasn't worth it, you know? I couldn't go forever. Maybe they're, they're different kind of people. They don't, I guess, need, feel the need to connect in that way. But I know this is sort of like getting off topic, I guess. <laughs> but in a way, it was a big thing because... You know, I still don't regret having them, but I do realize that it, it changed my life. Like, there's certain things in my life that are the way they are because I have tattoos.